Greetings, and thank you for coming to support us by watching today's video. If you would like to support us even more, you can do so by clicking on the like button, posting a comment down below, and of course, if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to click that subscribe button. Let's play a Noir Autism proudly presents Super Mario Valentine's Day may have come and gone, but this week there is a special treat, some special love that I want to give to you guys this week because I may have found my all-time favorite course for this game so far, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here at Novara Autism for another edition of Super Mario Sundays featuring Super Mario Maker. So today, I'm going to be giving you guys a course that I found this past week that I'm going to have included in a, as a bonus course. But we'll start with Course World, as always. And of course, for those of you familiar with this series, you know that since um, the fall of last year, we go to New Arrivals. And this course that I want to show you guys that I found, it was also a New Arrival back on Valentine's Day. And it was just something that I could not believe that someone had created, and I was captivated by it. So I'm really hoping that I can give you guys a really fun little course to um, enjoy. So let's see if I can find a Super Mario Brothers course that catches my attention. Not many options here. What about this one? If it loads. <laughs> that looks really small, but it also looks really complicated. <laughs> it looks like this Kenny Poika guy from Finland is like the Dutch guy we saw a few weeks ago. He's put up a whole bunch of courses that are going to be insanely technical and could cause me to lose my mind. But yeah, since I'm having difficulty finding courses that might be interesting to me, I might as well give one of his courses a go. So, from Kenny Poika from Finland, Dr. Mario's friend is the fish. I wonder why that is. Why don't we find out why he says this. Alright, Mr. Finnish guy, are you going to be like the Dutch guy we've met before? And, oh boy. We need to get over here, if at all. Come on. Okay, so that's how it's really gonna go, that I cannot perform a single jump without doing the jump scap skip. Because, yeah, I need to... There! Yeah, come on. I was pressing enough the whole time. Alright, so, I don't know what the point of that was. Because now I've blocked off my exit. Yeah, what happened is that I blocked off my exit. Alright, so, try not to hit the P switches if you can. I can skip over them. But then, okay, how do I get over there? Alright, something doesn't feel right here. And I just can't go back down, so I have to go over here. Okay, got through that. Oh, I see. That allows me to advance, okay, I gotcha. And go down? What if I say no? Oh crap. Uh... Kani Poika is a troll here, I believe. Cause why else? Okay. I'm not gonna even bother touching those. 
Maybe I have to. Ah! Well, we reached halfway, but now we'll... Oh, I have to go over here! And I didn't jump far enough. Well... I, I guess I should... I guess I should have accepted the mushroom with open arms, huh? But yeah, I see so many fish about to burn me. They're kind of reluctant to want to go and get a little treat for myself. Cause yeah, look at all these things jumping up together. It makes the process almost not worth it. And once again, I fell short on the jump. Yeah, I really need to extend that jump there. Alright, take another one. Yeah, this is gonna become a theme, I fear. And then I hit my head on the pipe. Yeah, Kenny Poika, what have you created here? Other than a reason for me to go batshit crazy. Alright, we got rid of you. Now... Okay, why is it so hard to make that jump? Or do I need the little cheap cheap to make it for me? Hit my head again. I'll bet that's what I need to do. Oh, I got it! I don't know what the P-Switch is for, but I'm not gonna use it. And they're applauding me for dying. You know it's bad when they're applauding you for dying. You know it's bad when they applaud you for dying. Oh, hit my head. Because I did not wait for the timing. Yeah, I re th that is set up in such a way that you have to take two mushrooms. Like, you have don't have a choice, and now I could be stuck here for the rest of the level. Either getting nailed by cheap cheeps, like that, or getting nailed by burning cheap cheeps, or not jumping far enough, or hitting my head on the pipe, or waiting for my demise, that too. This this level is just cruel in so many ways. Like, because there's no way you can get out of that labyrinth. And I just screw myself over again. Because yep, Mario cannot jump that far on ice. Why does it have to be ice? Why does it have to be ice? Uh, come on. Come on, Mushroom. Yeah, come on, Mushroom. Never show up. Please, never show up. Because you have to take the Mushroom while everyone's jumping down, but the problem is that the gap is not set up in such a way that you can save yourself, because, yeah. Like, they give you an option to have the alternate Mushroom made available to you, but the problem is... Wow, I actually survived that first passage. That's amazing. Ow, I, damn it, that threw me off! That threw me off! But yeah, this course is so ridiculous. Because you have to wait for that move. Okay, I'm taking door two this time. Oh boy. I think I found the worst thing imaginable. I did. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this in ten minutes. I seriously doubt I'll get this in ten minutes. 
I was I mean I was able to avoid a situation before, but not anymore. Because yeah, I'll just pass through the burning cheap cheeps. I'm not allowed to jump on them even when the invincibility frames are in effect. In my head. Yeah, I, well, I hit what I wanted to, but unfortunately, I did not time that correctly. I did not time that correctly at all. That time I did, but now I have to get down there. Everything has to come this way. Problem is, they keep spawning. And s continuously spawning cheap cheeps is bad. And I don't know how the heck I'm going to land on that trampoline in time. And on top of that, how am I going to advance further? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this course is too complicated. So yeah. A couple of weeks ago, we had the ubiquitous Dutch guy who made a whole bunch of insanely ridiculous stupid courses that I could not beat. And now this week we have an insanely ubiquitous Finnish guy who has a bunch of courses that I won't be able to complete. So, that's really how it's gonna go, huh? Yeah, and Dr. Mario's friend is a fish? Yeah, right, sir. Yeah, right. Let's see if we can find a Super Mario 3 course that can help me find out whether or not I'm actually good at something. I know, I know this course says Diabolic, but I'm hoping that Heather from the United States is a little more fit, forgiving than Kenny Poika is with the course design. I may regret this, but why don't we find out? I may regret this, but why don't we find out? Yeah, I imagine I gotta go through- Oh, no wonder it's Diabolic, it's on fast scroll. Well, actually, it's not on the fastest scroll speed, but... Oh, man, an auto-scroller. Yeah, the... <laughs> yeah, my life, my day just went from bad to worse. I don't know if it's even a smart idea. Yeah, he was going low, low, low. He wouldn't go up. He wouldn't go over my head. Come on. Do your thing, buddy. I went high. And you don't have a choice but to go high. Alright. Donut jump medley. Alright, drop down. There's a P switch, but I'm gonna wait until now. And <laughs> good thing I did, because who knows how long this will hold. And now all of a sudden we have piranha plants to worry about. Oh! Okay, I don't know how I survived that. I really don't know how I survived that. But I did. And I'm still going. What the hell? Oh, great. <laughs> and there's the end. Oh, game. Heather, you troll. Yeah, just the way of them taunting you. I guess I have to carry that wi that trampoline with me at the end. I guess that is something I'll be required to do. I will not have a choice. Avoid the pair of bombs. This was a bad idea. Alright. Jump over the P-switch blocks. Try not to get nailed by piranha plants. Oh, don't get hit by fire. Alright, take the trampoline. And take it to... It's final resting place. Get over that, and BAM! There we go. That'll do. And we're done with this place. Oh, well, at least I did get through one. Yeah, 
the only, the thing that was most diabolic, perhaps, was the thing at the end where you think, why is this trampoline here? And then it takes you to the end of the course and you realize, ah, that's why it's diabolic. It's not because of anything else that comes before it, it's if you don't take the trampoline, you get the ultimate troll move placed on you. Very well played there, Heather. Very well played. Yeah, that's going to do it for our Super Mario Brothers 3 course. I'm glad I completed it. So let's find a Super Mario World course now. Okay, I've not had much um, luck finding a Super Mario World course that seems like it'll be good for me to enjoy. But this one might actually have some interesting things in it, because it looks like there's going to be a second world beyond the first one at the top. So, why don't we try this one? Keys and Bosses from Darnock of Germany. And whoever's cleared this has did it in one try. And it only took them about just over a minute. Let's see how we do. Oh, and they give us a fire flower. But I was about to say, don't we go down the pipe too? And the answer is yes. Oh boy. How am I going to get over you and cause you to cough up your key? There we go. Alright, past that. Oh, no, no. We don't want to rematch with the crazy hammer, brother. Whoa. Ha ha ha! I love how they cancel each other out, the, the Koopa shells. But now we have an unholy trinity of pain. And they're doing a good job of keeping me at bay. <laughs> yeah, don't think I don't see you coming at me full speed. Alright, through that. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> that was unexpected, but thank you! Well, yeah, come on! Whoa, that's not what I intended to see happen. Well, there we go. Your treasure is mine. And they even have bob bombs too, for me to have a look at. So we got to the end. We go back to start. Open the door. And make our way to the end of the level. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't all that bad. Yeah, I think the only boss that was really challenging in that was the first one. That was the only one that gave me any true concern. So yeah, just off the world record, but I'm glad I played this course, because this was a nice little course, and setting up the way that he did, I think Darnock did a nice job with this level. I think this was a definitely well done from him. Alright, so now to find a Super Mario U course, of which there have been many here... And it's actually this one that might actually give me the most reason to play it. Goom Mario and Goomba work together by Caden from the UK. Because I've seen a course shown on YouTube where Mario has to receive assistance from a Goomba in order to advance further. So what do you say we see if this one works in a similar way? Let's do this. What happens if we go in the door? Um, that happens. Is it all a lie? Yeah, if you're not confident about taking on this challenge, please feel free to run to the left and end it all. In fact, why don't I play that again to ensure the world record? Yeah, I want to make sure that no one takes this world record away from me. But then I want to actually play the level for real. Because, yeah. Why, why would you do that there, Caden? Why, why would you do that? Now let's see the real level. 
Okay, so yeah, we have vines being used here. So we have the Goomba walking along, doing his little thing. I'm guessing I have to... Well, actually, I don't know if I'm supposed to hit this block. It might be a bad idea, but it wasn't. And Goomba continues along his merry way. He'll hit these blocks and those will cause more vines to come out. There we go. Oh, is that it? Alright, so I guess there's more to it than this. Alright, and then there's a second part. And now Goomba flies. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I have to lead him the way I want to. Apparently. Because I don't know, for some reason he had a change of heart. Okay, how am I going to get him to go up there? Okay, I'm a bit confused by this. I mean, how am I going to make the Goomba go up there? I'm going to plow right through and see what happens. Because, yeah, he couldn't go anywhere. He was stuck. Okay, this is just getting weird. Uh, no, I said in the pipe, not in the door. And there's exit number two. But yeah, that's really weird that they didn't give you an option to help out the Goomba further, that the all you could do was get you to that point, but then you had to bum rush through the piranha plants in order to leave. But the fact that he even gives you the option to not even do the level at all, I think, is pretty sad. Because the reason why you play the level is because it gets your attention. It's something you want to try, something you want to give a go at. And if they don't, and if the course designer puts in a thing that says, you know what, screw it, just go ahead and finish the level. Like, that, that's not cool. Like, Caden, I'm not, I'm not impressed with that mechanic that you implemented it into this course. I would have just rather seen the course the way that it was done without the doors and that we enjoyed the course for what it was supposed to be. And it wasn't all that bad, to be honest. But yeah, that, that, that's a mechanic that should never be implemented into a Mario Maker course, is the option to skip the level entirely. So yeah, I'm pretty disappointed because of that. So, why don't you say we move on from disappointment to something that will put a smile on your face, because it certainly put a smile on my face. So, for today's bonus, special bonus course, let's go to the My Starred Courses. Because this course, I think you'll enjoy, because I certainly did. It's this one here at the top of the list that I starred, called, I Enjoy Playing All My Buddies Levels. <laughs> That he decided to shove all into one word. This is from Jay Bizzle from the United States. And I hold the world record on this course at just barely over five minutes. Yeah, it's like five minutes and 89 one thousand hundredths of a second. But yeah, let me show you why I fell in love with this course the moment I first tried it. I may die once or twice, but hopefully not too far into the level. And so here we go. Yeah, says this level may be too good. That was actually my comment. Yeah, it starts you off with this platforming section where you have to avoid the flamethrowers, as well as jumping past those platforms. Then you have to rely on the magic Koopas to give you a hand. It's something that can really ha be an issue with timing. But I'm free to go. I don't need to worry about the fire f or the mushroom there because there's a fire flower over here. Alright, now we want to get up here. And now we're gonna have a little fun going across over here. And we're going to hit the Koopa shell here to give us a raccoon tail. And we're gonna see if we can't get enough momentum to fly! 
I'm gonna fly and we're gonna go left here. It's not a big deal if I get hit, because this level has so many power-ups, you don't have to feel worried about that too much. Gotta do some crazy jumping. Especially over some loose chain chomps. Now we have a P-Switch jumping gauntlet. Gotta go back and forth. And gotta get through in times to avoid that, but also not touching the spikes if at all possible. But, but that's okay, because over here on the left is a Fire Flower. Which way they can use to start shooting Koopas like crazy. As well as Piranha Plants to block our path. Yeah, they're, they're just conveniently set up to be in your way. That one isn't, though. Thank, thanks to the fact that you have the bomb helping you out. I want to let this fire. And I did. And into the pipe we go. Now I have to open up a key door. To do that, we need to come to the left first. Give the... Hammer Brothers, what for? Take this P-Switch. And we're gonna use it in the other pipe. If you get hit by a hammer, it's no big deal. But just move fast enough because... For some reason, and I don't know why... If I stayed around long enough, a second Hammer Brother would've appeared and he would've fallen through this fa- He would've phased through the ceiling. Now, it's a matter of... Hitting the right Goomba, that'll give you another key. And now it's mini-boss time. Now we have a mini-boss duel against a whole bunch of Magic Koopas and Bowser Jr. Yeah, I want to get rid of the, these guys as soon as I can. Oh, yeah, what do you think you're doing, buddy? Yeah, what do you think you're doing? Yeah, from time to time, they'll hit the... Well, actually, I don't know what they hit to cause them to do that, but it can be a bit annoying, because there have been instances where I've done this fight where I've had to deal with Goombas or Boos appearing and stuff like that. Anyway, beat Bowser Jr. Open that door. Now we have to deal with this gauntlet. And we got to deal with Thwomps falling through, but thanks to the um, forced in its one direction only thing... We can get through there, no problem. I have to let this pass through because I need to use power blocks to eliminate those black flowers because they cannot be eliminated under normal means. They can only be eliminated with power blocks. On to the next section. That's another fire flower over there, but because we already have a fire flower, we're just going to pass it and move on. Yeah, jump over those guys. <laughs> Try not to land on a spiky. Jump over the dry bones. The giant dry bones, because you need him to get you over. Move fast enough to avoid getting burned by flamethrowers. Okay, another situation where there's a fire flower, but once again, we're skipping it. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to have to go through a gauntlet. And shoot as fast as we possibly can, and then go right. Now, it's not a big deal that I lost the Fire Flower. But this was the When I was doing this initially, this was the hardest part right here. Using the Goomba Shoe. Because you have to jump and time your jumps. Like that. Ah, crap. Yeah, and, the, and that's the big problem. If you take too long, then Bowser's fire starts appearing. And that can really screw you over. Just like I'm kind of screwing over myself right now. Thankfully, I do know there's a fire flower in here. But yeah, I need to wait for the fire to stop being shot. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. Come on.
There we go. Now, I am going to intentionally take the hit there. Because I can. Because that will me some, save me some time. Because as you can already see, this is a long level. Yeah, and the last thing we want to do is make this long level even longer. Thankfully, they do give you a fire flower along the way. In case you need it. But yeah, that is the hardest part that you just saw right there. That by far was the hardest part of this level. So now that's left is us jumping in the giant cl um, clown car that shoots fire. And we're going to need this thing to get us to the end. Because somewhere down the line is Bowser! And now we have a Bowser duel in midair while also dealing with a heat-seeking bullet bill and a giant chain chomp. So yeah, this is how it cl this level climaxes, and it climaxes very well. And there we go, we got it. Use the key over here. And end the level. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the course that could very well go down as my all-time favorite in Super Mario Maker. With the exception of that one challenging platform part, this is, without question, a level that I really enjoyed, and I had to share this level with you guys. I just had to share it with you guys, because I just... Even when I was failing, I was still enjoying the level. And I hope that if you guys ever play this game, please play this level. You'll love this course as much as I did. So that is going to do it for this week's edition of Super Mario Sundays featuring Super Mario Maker. So a big shout out to our course creators for this week. Jay Bizzle from the United States. As well as Caden from the UK. Darnock from Germany. And then we gotta go way up the list here. Um, to Kenny Poika from Finland because he was the ubiquitous one of this week's edition. And finally, where is our British girl? Heather from the US. There you are. So yes, thanks to our course creators. And thank you for putting up some a wide variety of very um, unique and interesting courses. So if you guys have any courses that you would like me to try here in this series, please let me know. Post the information of the name of the course and the course ID. And I'd like to sh be able to show it off in a future episode for you guys. Because, yeah, I, I would love to see some courses that you guys have created or that you guys think are really cool that I thought was really cool. Like the w bonus course I showed you this week. So thank you very much everyone for watching. And until next time with another edition of Super Mario Sundays Teaching Super Mario Maker. This is Matthew at Novora Autism saying take care and I'll see you soon.